Hi guys, it's Josh from Madden Crafts and I'm here with a shorter video for you today in the Beginner's Guide to Short Video series. I've been working on this series with Angie Holden of the Country Chic Cottage for the past couple of weeks. This video series is a companion piece to an ebook that we released a few weeks ago and we are going into greater depth some of the tools and processes that you will use as you create short video for social media. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the iPhone app Square Ready for Video. The first thing you'll need to do is download the app for your phone. It's available in the App Store. I am not sure if there's an Android version, but if I can find one, I will link to both of those in the description below. And you want to make sure that your video is already on your phone, whether you do it through Dropbox or the cloud or ho however you normally get videos to your phone. Then you need to open up your albums and find the video that you want to use. Here I did a really quick video of some bookmarks that I made for Dr. Seuss's birthday coming up. Now you can see that the video automatically loaded onto my workspace. But the first problem that you can see, besides that it's shaky, is that it's upside down. So what I'm going to do is go down here to the 90 degree button and flip it around so it's right side up. The main use for this app is to take videos that are in 16 by 9 format, so what you would typically shoot a video in, and square them off. So they're better for social media like Vine or especially for Instagram. You can do videos in portrait or landscape for Instagram, but it makes it smaller and harder to see. So if it's possible to reformat your video to a square shape, it just works that much better. So what you need to do in order to do that is you have plus or minus buttons over here on your toolbox. And you want to just keep tapping that plus button until you filled up the square screen. Now if you wanted to, you could keep going and zoom way in on your project or on your video, but we're gonna just stick with a nice, uh, as square and as far back as we can get it. So now I play my video and everything is happening within that square. Now as we get through the 13 seconds of my video, you can see that the last bookmark that I add to the video doesn't show up all that well on the screen and there's a way to adjust that. There's a slider at the top of the screen here, I, I hope you can see it on the video, that actually will allow you to choose which part of that 16 by 9 you want to focus on. So if I move it just to the right of center, now I can see I'm going to get all of my bookmarks within the frame if I choose to post this on Instagram or Facebook or wherever I'm moving it to. Alright, there's a couple more things you can do with this app. Let's say for instance, I don't like the very beginning of the video. I can decide just to save it from wherever I decide the video should start. So if I say right there, only the portion of the video within that red highlighted bar will be saved and it will trim off the first second or so. So that's one thing you can do with this app. The other thing you can do is to add music to it. I'm a big advocate for adding music to the background of your videos, even if you have narration. If you've noticed my videos in this series, I have some background music running underneath all of the videos, even if I'm doing narration. It just fills in the blank spots and makes it a little bit more pleasant to watch. All right, now when you are in the music dashboard, you can choose from your own music in your library. You can import some music or they have a very small library of royalty free tunes. And that's what I'm going to work with today. There's some classical, um, probably open source music uh, and then some of their own original ones. Since this is a Dr. Seuss video, I'm going to pick this kind of old timey sounding and you can use, set it to use it repeatedly so it will be your default for music. You can cancel if you want to try something else or you can add it to your video. And then I can play it again to see what it looks like with the music. And you can see I've got my video squared off and with the music in the background now. And if I like what it does, then I click the green check mark 
and you hold down the save button so you can choose your resolution. I'm going to choose the lowest one so that it will save more quickly. And then it will process up your video. It'll save it to your camera roll. After it's saved, you can click OK and it will be in your camera roll and you can send it to the cloud or email it or use it however you'd like. Or you can have it push automatically to Instagram. And there you can see your video is all set to go in Instagram, squared off and facing the right direction, music if you've added it, all set to go. Square Ready for Video can be a useful app if you would like to do some minor modifications to your video in order to get it more ready for social media. Next week, be sure to come back for one more video in this series. And then the week after that, Angie and I will have a special announcement. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and to Angie's YouTube channel so you don't miss any videos in this series. Visit me on maddencrafts.com. Buy a copy of the Beginner's Guide to Short Video if you haven't already. I'll link to it in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. And thanks for watching. Bye!